Denny, mm-hmm. what the fuck is your nightmare fuel? Let me tell you a story. I'm so excited. Let me let me take you back to 2012. I've just come home from London and my plan was to go back to London. Now, I'd use my two-year working visa in London. So going back, my plan was to go on a holiday. And then um, do some like meetings and hopefully get sponsored and stay London. So to preface this, okay, government, I was going back to London completely legally. Okay. As a holiday. No, no, as a holiday. To clarify. But she, but she's a blogger. She's gonna go on meetings. Like that's Absolutely. my life. My job is she's my life. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I fly into London. It's the um, London Olympics. So security is like a lot, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I was wearing a neon pink. Um, beanie and a neon green jumper. So, Mm -hmm. you know, real good for the attention. Very subtle, very demure. (laughs) Very demure. Very very shy, coy. Coy. That's how I describe you, a coy warm nugget. I'm a coy nugget. (laughs) So anyway, I get to the customs thing to check in or whatever, and the man's like, what are you doing here? And I'm like, I'm on a holiday. And he's like, yeah, but you just got back from, like you were living here four months ago. Why are you coming back so soon? And I was like, oh, it's um, London Fashion Week. I have a fashion blog. I'm I'm going to see Madonna in three days. Like, it's a good time. He's like, mm, I don't buy it. So he, cut to two hours later, I'm sitting at Heathrow Airport in security. <gasps> they take my suitcase. They open my suitcase. And in my suitcase is my portfolio. I was like, this is my portfolio. He's like, what's it here for? I was like, because I always take it with me. Mm. No, you're here for work. We don't believe you. Okay. Cut to nine more hours sitting in an interrogation room. They took my phone off me. Food? No food. Just water. They took my phone off me. Um, and I had to wait to be interrogated by their like border security. Could you call anyone? No, I could make it. two phone calls. I called my mother and my best friend Laura, who was, funnily enough, hosts Love Island in the UK, Laura Whitmore. Oh yeah. my God. Yeah. I feel so good. Oh my God, I love her. Yeah, yeah. So she was waiting for me at Heathrow for six hours and I didn't know. She was surprising me with a big um, sign that said, Welcome back. We're going to Madonna. Anyway. Oh. Yeah. So she was like, Is there anything I can do? I was like, No, babes. So I just have to wait. So anyway, long story short, I sit there for nine hours. The man comes in. He's like, I don't believe you. You have your portfolio in your suitcase. You are coming here to work illegally. I'm sending you straight back home. (gasps) Now, by this stage, it was quite late at night. So the next flight to Melbourne was the next day. So I had to spend a night in a detention center with actual like criminals. Um, I got strip searched on entry. I was offered to go like sleep in a cell. I was like, no, I'll sleep in the communal area. You were offered to sleep in a cell. Yeah, we could sleep in cells or we could be in a communal area. So I sat in the communal area and watched American Pie on TV. I'll never forget it. So then the next day I get escorted on and off the plane, like like a criminal. I get handed my passport in an envelope at Tullamarine Airport. So you I've been traveling all the now. way back. So I've been traveling now for 72 hours or so. Like I smelt like shit. Thank God I had a toothbrush. Like it was not cute. I get home, my parents, sorry, I walk off the like thing. My parents are at the airport. Now, Wogs love an airport moment. This yeah. I know. But there was 30 of my cousins at the airport. I was like, why is everyone here? I'm so confused. I'm like, what's yeah. going on? So, you know, we go to McDonald's, whatever. And I can see everyone's very somber. And I'm like, what I've gone through is a lot. But like, why are you guys all here? And why is everyone so sad? And they're like, your cousin passed away yesterday. So we just wanted to all be around you. So it was the worst four days of my life. I went to my cousin's funeral the next day. I think we have a winner. <laughs>